So like I was saying there, we're, we're going to fish where the, the junction pool is. This is the bonnie water we're looking at now. That's, there's a road bridge just up there, the old rail bridge you see from the road is just up there as well. But we've came downstream, this is actually a nice big deep hole on the side here as well. It runs down and into the pool. That's the River Carn, where it meets here. And this is a nice deep pool. It also runs down the side here. There's man-made caging with the stones inside it. It runs down this pool here. It's a nice big deep hole. And more guaranteed to catch trout in here. So we're going to get a bash. The water actually looks perfect. It is up, running clear. Heavy rain forecasted for today, but the trout love it when the water turns brown in this river. So the minute it turns brown, every trout will go into the feed. Literally every trout, and we should have fun today. So here we are anyway. I'm going to get started. I've baited up, like I say, we're using worms. I've baited up here with two worms on my hook. It looks a lot, but that's nothing for a trout. Even a half pound trout will destroy that. So we'll give it a go on the weight in this pool. And so we've moved in. I was just getting pestered with small trout. They're shredding the, the worm every cast up at the bonny water pool there at the junction. So we've moved in. Just as you, as you look down through the bonny water, you'll see a tree line that cuts right across your path. If you just jump into the farmer's field and come down in behind the tree line, you're coming into this pool here. No, it's a nice moving pool, it's slow, deep water. Again, it's these these will be the salmon will be able to smell the bony water through up there. And they will be taking it easier coming up through these stretches. A lot slower and deeper water. But I've had a few, a good few salmon. This is like this is, this is one of my main stretches of fish. This Buckton Farm, Cam Years Farm stretch. And right down there a nice tree that stops. Right in behind that tree is quite good as well. And there's a bit more water, but I, I dare say the water's coming today because it is forecasted. So here we chuck through here, down along that far bank is usually good. But we'll get a go. Like I say, it's the 27th, the last day of the worm, so we'll get it out of the system. And it's fly fishing all the way for the rest of the season for me. Second one I've actually had. I lost the last one. Ah, nice oh, a good thing to remember as well if you're coming one month for next season. Maybe four steps. So much reliable because the fish are they just hammer the worms coming in there and it's right in their throat before you know it if you love them, give them too long. And luckily this one's just in the side of the mouth. But it's so much easier to get your hook out, you just walk up, you don't get a low snut and get tangled up. Well I can't get here. A nice fish. That's a cameraman and we stop farting about with that zoom. Yeah, get her back. Well, first fish of the day, we'll get another one shortly, guaranteed. Ready to fish again, we're not protected. There you go, boys. Well, I've moved in, we're so far, about 10 metres, still in the same knee straight to pool. I kept getting pestered with small. No far in that far banking, so just come down here. See if we can pick any bigger trout out. We've heard a few big crashes in the water. Just, it's just as far as you can see, kind of thing. It's a big slow stretch, you can see right down it. But we had a couple of big crashes about five minutes ago. There's positive signs. So I phoned her father, her father's down in the viaduct. Uh, he said that he's standing at the weir for half an hour and he's seen at least half a dozen salmon. Not making any attempts to get up, but they were coming up, looking and going back down again. They weren't jumping. They might just be waiting on what's coming, because it is supposed to torrential rain at some point today. So here we run through this pool with a worm. The worm's great, especially when the water's coloured. Or getting there. So 
a nice pool, it's, it's a big old tree there, it came into the water. But the other side of the tree is so it's quite good, so the fish tend to be tight into the far banking. When the water is running a bit heavier. But it's certainly on its way up. Along with the salmon hopefully. High tides at 12 o'clock I think today, the 27th of August. This is a nice sea trout stretch this. Especially on the fly. If you make yourself a nice area, flatten down all the nettles before you start your night fishing for the sea trout. Make life a bit easier on yourself. Not worse than falling in and breaking tackle. And it's a nice stretch this. Off the dark, overhanging trees. Slow. A nice holding pool. That's a fish. Bottom. Is it? Push on. Nice wee scrap of this this rod. It's only a nine foot seven uh, a nine foot rod, spinning rod. A wee maver rod, it's actually really sensitive. Oh, there you go. Does that count? <laughs> go off at the side. <laughs> Never mind. Excuse me, I'm hooking it. Get baited back up, absolutely trashed. Doesn't leave much left of your two big worms, that's for sure. Uh, I've got a nice fish on there just in at the tree. I'm not too sure what it is, but it's, if it's a brown trout, it's a big one. I'm right up. Mm. Yeah, it's a tree trout. Must have been hanging off just in the big dark underneath the trees there, it would have been sitting in there. Scrap, we're getting from it. Tell you that. Oh, aye, nice trout of it. That's fine. There you go, a lovely sea trout from the River Carn. It just shows how good this river is getting. There's no doubt about it that the river is getting a lot But Look at the size of that. Absolutely lovely. Possibly three pound sea trout there. And that just proves how clean the water is getting. Thanks to the returning the fish. That's the most important thing is returning the fish healthy and safely. Healthy. I'll go straight back. Yep, so I didn't think about it straight away. Away upstream to hopefully bring us a lot more sport in a few years' time. It's very important, we can't stress enough how it is returning fish to the river. See, I could have easily chapped that, chucked it in a bag, stuck it in my freezer. There's just no need for it. So that's proving the fish are in. Let's get some water. Eh? So we've moved in to the other side of that tree where we caught the sea fruit. It was just up there, tight into that bank and where all that dead tree is. And we've moved in uh, just to the other side, came in the back of the tree on the other side of the bank and we've worked our way into this pool now. This is the opposite side of where the tree is. And that's what I was talking about the sea trout. This is perfect area for them. It's overhanging trees, old trees in the water, it's all dark and gloomy. That's the kind of area they like. They'll just travel up, usually they'll travel up that tree line bank and rather than travel up this bank in here. So we've moved into here, we'll see if we can pick up another trout. I lost another trout there, so we've only been fishing for an hour. We've had a couple of trout, a nice sea trout at about three pounds. So we'll move to the next pool. Like I say, I can assure you we'll get more. That's 
Okay, the final example there of the black the plaster scene does, you do get lodged up, which is absolutely great. I do recommend just a wee bomb weight with a bit of plaster scene on it. If you do move into a bigger pool with a lot of feather, just add an extra wee bit to slow you down, take a bit off if you want to speed it up. A great wee method of fishing this. Right, that's a small head there. Let the rod do all the work, he'll feel the rod bouncing a bit. When you do feel that hit from the fish, just dip your rod maybe a foot, tighten up, two or three seconds and straight. Any longer you've got to deep hook the fish. If you have got a big bait on, but the brown trout really like a, a worm, especially on a rising water. Out on here, a small trout. See, it hammered me a bit better than that. I actually thought it was sort of a bit decent the way it took me. I see that. No fear when it comes to hammering a worm, these trout, I tell you that. Right, that's about it. Right, that's uh, not quite a pound, but it's off, the, uh, off the cold water today with the fuels of the fish. Well, it's another one in the bag. And, uh, another nice trout in the river. Always enjoy a wee bit of last day worming. Can you beat it? Especially when it all goes to plan and you start catching a couple of dozen fish. I've been fishing for about an hour and a half now. This is fish number five. quality fish. That might be a bit closer to the pound mark this one. That's great. The rain's coming down there, that's for sure. The water's still not coloured, still running the same, it's not doing anything. I'm going with a marker I've got in the far bank and the water's still lying the same level. But it is a it will rise, believe you me, the way this rain's coming down the day. But back underneath the brawl end with we'll a bit more protection. Right here, just in that pool I was at. Yeah, about two minutes ago. Oh, right. I think that's a trout anyway, might be another sea trout. The way it's gone on. Oh aye, I might be a sea trout after all. Uh, I think it is a sea trout. Oh, it's a big lamp and brown trout, a big brown trout. This is just going to show you the fancy fish you get in the river can. River Karen, brown trout, well into the three pound mark here. Lovely big long lean fish. There's not a spot on it, this is a wild fish. Absolute cracker. Absolute brilliant. Slip this back. 
this is a stay in the bigger fish will come out the feed. I put them bigger, a uh, big monster on this set. And that's all way. Oh well. I've moved in a wee pad again, straight into a fish. I'm actually walking more than my fishing there, so I might be doing it a bit of faster water for the salmon pools. But, uh, a nice trout coming in here. Every trout's different, it's got a funny colour of this one. Same again. A nice dark looking trout. Really nice. I'll just slip her back because she's looking healthy enough. No way. No other fish. You my doing? Bad deep fell. Oh, fish on, fish on. So we put out. It's a nice wee pool this, but you get in here bigger, you're in trouble. You just can't even walk past it without putting a worm in. And there you have it, a wee trout. In my effort. So what we're going to do now, we're going to move down to that pool in here, behind the trees as you can see, of course there. And we get a bash in a bit heavier water, a bit easier to target the salmon that way, if there is salmon in this bit. But, oh no, nice trout. Get it back in the water. Oh, that's cool. Oh well, I'll take a close, we'll walk across and we're going to fish that pool. That's what's in this pool I was talking about. I've put salmon in this pool before in the past. This is the ball bit I was talking about in the last video. So it's just one cast and the the current pool in the end there. It's a circle about there all day long with one cast. I had a fish on there. I think it was just a wee trout because my worms are all gone. So. I made a couple of wee cats, keep it hard. This is the big bend coming off at the bottom of the cam you have fucked in farm straight. And this is a more rapid and pools. You're, you're more likely to find a salmon here. Although you'll get them up there, but it's easier to target them in these pools. Quite a bit. 
So we've just walked in the uh, Bonny Water to the Ladbroke Weir. Uh, when the total we've had around about the 16, I think we've counted the uh, brown trout and the one half decent sea trout earlier on. All in the 27th, it's the last day of the day that we're up. It's been actually quite a good day, it has been as well. But until the next time, the next video will be in a few weeks when we've got a decent level, steady level, we'll go fly fishing for the salmon. But for now, we'll look at the wee bear there and see if there's anything jumping.